In this video, I'll be showing you how to use pressure plates that attracts redstone. So if you haven't seen my last video, you will know that we built ourselves the deluxe light system, which involved building a, either a house or a cabin, which involved the mechanism of our redstone circuiting. And basically we had one secret item that we put in. It's the glowstone, which basically attracts the lighting. Instead of using an original redstone block or a redstone lamp, we basically had the ideal to basically create ourselves a glowstone, and then we basically buy like a piece of the ceiling when it's daytime. <clears throat> so yeah, and by if you press this button, it kind of does it all the time because I screwed up a lot of times on this. But it must, the ceiling must go to like the other piston right here. And because this raises up and the glowstone basically goes into the place. So yeah. But anyways, moving on. So if you guys know what pressure plates are, pressure plates are what you use for to basically step on, you step on them and they uh, power on redstone. And now basically here are some tips to, if you if you're playing on creative either on standard or peaceful mode and if you open your menu you will have all the pressure plates that you have you will have the oak pressure plate spruce pressure plate let me zoom in on it so I can show you guys birch pressure plate jungle pressure plate akakia pressure plate darko pressure plate crimson pressure plate wolf pressure plate Stone pressure plate, we have the lightweight pressure plate, and then you have the heavy pressure plate, and then a new one, which is basically you can find in the ender portal, the polished blackstone pre pressure plate. So these are mostly like mods, but if you're in survival mode, then you need to find these items to craft. If you want to craft like the basic wood ones, you'll need to like craft a piece of, of one of these planks, but you can't craft these two ones. Basically, unless you find the ingredients, which involves the crimson pressure plate and the warp pressure plate. And the craft these, basically you'll need a piece of stone. And for the light pressure plate, you'll need a piece of gold block. Or if you're doing a heavy, you'll need a piece of iron. And if for the polished one, that's only a, a limited edition one. But you need like a polished block, like a polished dark block. Like a blackstone block. And you'll need like a polished one to make this one. So keep that in mind if you're playing survival mode. <clears throat> So I'm doing creative. Basically, here's some items that we'll waste today. We'll just grab ourselves the original basics. We'll just grab some light and we'll grab the stone pressure plates. So here's what we did. Place pressure plates. The easy way to put down how these pressure plates is that you just basically place them down on each on other side. <clears throat> and then you grab an item. And then you basically step. Either you can step on it. Or you could place an item which basically doesn't do nothing so it, it must be like a heavy item like we'll take maybe a piece of bedrock for example or how about we take a how about we take a piece of sandstone for example we'll take a piece of sandstone doesn't do nothing but if you use the either the other one is like either the light or heavy then basically you can get a contraction between those two but since do but since we with way pressure plates, we can encourage something, for example. So let me show you the easiest way how to use so we'll just use way to pressure plate light and heavy and grab yourself redstone block and grab yourself redstone torches. And then here we go. So just make a trail along with like like those for example, like make a connection between those two, make like like oh four square and then paste two of these right here make ourselves like a little pulse shortener but these turn these turn uh out burn out you can't place redstone but let me show you something for example does it that's because you have to, we get we use the heavy first the pressure plates so as you know it's you don't do nothing because you're not acquaintance with each other. You don't meet the acquaintance to turn on or power on redstone torches. But if you look closely, the redstone block does because basically, without the meaning of facts, you'll have to delete these two pieces of redstone that are basically blocking the front view of the redstone cube. And then you'll have to place them with these ones. And then, as you notice, that burns out as well. But the key point is if you place them on top of redstone, these burn out as well. And without that, 
you won't be able to power it on by placing redstone on the sides. Let's try that for example. See? If you place redstone on the sides, and you press them, they'll do nothing. But if it's genuine, or genuine, then try to do like an earth basic circuit, which causes this one to go like this. It'll be best to either not put do redstone blocks, but instead do something differently. But that's where I want to show you an example of what pressure plates does, because they basically contract it with the redstone. And they also power on with, with an iron door, for example. Let me show you. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. So if you grab yourself a uh, a heavy pressure plate. Or you can like use a piece of lever or something, but this one we're using pressure plates. And if you grab yourself an iron door, just place like a place, so anyway, place like an iron door there, and then place your pressure plate. And then if you step on it, it opens that door. And you want you want to pull another one aside so you can open that back up so you can get out like that. So here's another comparison. With redstone, with red, we, we can try to do this with redstone before we actually get move on to quick Just show you like a little basic easy step. So if you grab like a piece of redstone or or like a, in a lever, I'm gonna connect these two. If you connect those two, you get you get an appearance with this. If you connect those two, connect two redstones as well. Alright, feel closely. Connect those and that opens up. No, that, oh, I'm sorry, that's closes. And they don't do nothing. You have nothing to do with these. So it's like a little, like a little, not non observer type of redstone thing. But yeah, you, you can use pressure plates all you want. Use them for like builds, like if you're building a mansion or like a survival mansion or like an underwater base or like a vault. And my cat's snoring, featuring Sandy. Or Santa's Christmas. So it's anyway, so let's, we're gonna get on the redstone curriculum. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's kind of the experiment now. So I I, I make the like redstone line for this first one. So you'll need like a this. You'll need wooden pressure plate, the elk one, the stone pressure plate, and then two of these. And here's the good part. The good part is that if, when you drop an iron on the on a wood block, it powers on because wood is sturdy. But if if you place a heavy if you place it on stone, watch this, it does do nothing because stone is heavy, so it's kind of like a little observer trick. So maybe let's try with a redstone. So redstone does work. We'll just use a we'll just use a sticky piston and leave it on. Let me see what's. If you want to use some some type of physics field by using like. The redstone lamps activation, then you can go ahead and do that. So, for example, we'll take, we'll grab ourselves the redstone lamps. Okay, then we'll grab ourselves an item we'll need. We'll just, we'll, we'll just use a shulker box. Then what we'll do is we'll place either, we'll place a diagonal block like that, right there. And then we'll place underneath it, we'll place a pressure plate. And then if you basically have a contraction field with this, place an item like that. And it should turn on the lamp. Because wood is so sturdy and weak. And basically when you and when you break something over with it, like, like a 2x4 over someone's head, for example, we'll actually do it. Then the wood will actually break. Because wood is sturdy and weak. So we kind of get the example, but we're gonna try to see if we can do it with redstone. So by completing an observation field with two redstone lines, and we'll take one wood wood line, then two more equals the equation. And if we connect those together by getting rid of that, it just did nothing because it's because basically the only thing that's attractive is if you place an item down on wood. So delete those redstone and then we'll just put back a redstone line. And then we'll basically do like a like a little L shape for example. Make like an L shape right there. And then you'll put like a pressure plate maybe like right here. And then you'll take like a 
piece of the item we'll use. We'll take back this. Actually, we're going to grab ourselves two shulker boxes. We'll actually, let's grab ourselves a different We'll just use a pink lace terracotta. Let's leave those on there. Then we'll take the pink lace terracotta. And you place it right there. And only turn it on one block because we didn't place any stuff there. So that's like a little tricky little secret. That 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 notch is trying to keep us covered. But if you place redstone around the whole the whole place field of it, for example, like if you place it around the back, or if you don't place it all around four corners, just get rid of the get rid of the corners. Like get rid of the corners and then place your item there. So place some items right there. So we'll grab ourselves like we'll just grab ourselves a honeycomb block. Place that there. Then we'll grab let's see what else we got. We'll grab ourselves some polished blackstone stairs. Maybe an iron door. Some polished granite. Some gold. And then we'll just grab ourselves a uh, grass block. The key to this is that you want to make sure that they're connected. Make sure that they're they land. They land right onto the platform of your your plate. And the how do we say how we get this up there? Well, if you place a piece of pressure plate, wooded one, on the top of here, and place a gold one where it faces. Oh wait, wait, wait. I think I showed you something. When when I place that there, watch. Um. Kind of actually turn out in that one we did. So there, that's how we basically use redstone lamps or like like little physics with oscillating the ray, right, the weight of pressure plates. I'll be right back. With using just like using a lever, for example, we'll, we'll do the same thing like we did with the redstone physics. We'll create ourselves. We'll be using a type of block we'll use. We'll, to order to order this out, so our new plot comes to place will be our material that we'll use for the outline, which is the light blue wool. What we're gonna do is we'll basically we'll place a we'll place ourselves a redstone lamp right there, then create a line three, and then. Ah, uh, one sec. I may have to look back. Look back again, and then we'll take our stills, We'll put like a block there, and we'll place a pressure plate there. Then we'll come one, two, three, where we are acquaintance. One, two, three. Then we'll place ourselves the the L shape, and then you'll place your wood pressure plate and then you'll place a piece of item on there so we'll just take we'll take this right here and, and that should power on the redstone lamp and then we'll take an iron door for example and then this right here on, on our behalf does something when you do it if you connect it with redstone on the back of this lamp. So you kind of like a use of like, basically you drop items, you basically make the item. All right, now we're back. Okay, so I look back over the curriculum and there's not, nothing else used with uh, Swift Ready Pressure Plates, but there is something I want to show you of how you can do something with pressure plates. So if you if you saw what we did for the deluxe lighting system right here, you see we did, we add, didn't add any stone pressure plates or any of stuff. All we did was, was this redstone torch circuiting. But anyways. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, so. Anyways. We're gonna grab ourselves a, we'll just grab ourselves some basic wood pressure plates. The wood pressure plate you can use is uh, oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, or acacia, whatever you call that name, dark oak, crimson, 
and warped. And the, the rest of the four stone, light, heavy, and polished black stone are not suitable for placing items. So I'll just use the basic wood. So place, grab ourselves the wood. Then we'll grab ourselves some sticky piston. No, yeah, regular piston, sticky piston. And then redstone torch, block of redstone. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I just have my block of, not block of redstone. Redstone, redstone repeaters, and uh, observer. Uh, we'll grab ourselves, so we'll need a. No, we'll grab ourselves a. What do we need? Spencer, and then we'll need well, the Spencer, and then we'll need a daylight sensor. And and this we'll need some more, but this time we're gonna do something a little different. Instead of working in the outside field, we're gonna be going into like a cave to do this project. So that's the reason why we use daylight sensors. So we, I see like this like little like cross here. It looks like the Rammstein T on like your band logo, the Rammstein T. But anyway, go down to this cave, you see like a cave opening, and go to the deepest cave that you see. So... I want to just, I haven't experimented in a cave before, so I want to see what happens if we like do like a low sh like shifting mechanism. Like, we, if you see, you see like some mining like stuff down here. So this spot will just do fine. And... Ah, uh, the daylight sensors will not work. But for this, instead of getting, instead of only using a daylight sensor, just grab yourself a piece of glowstone. Sorry, guys. Uh. All right. So I got our a piece of glowstone. But anyway, we're gonna do something a little different. So when we're good. We're gonna. So basically, the main part of this is that we're gonna use our blocks of physics to complete. So we're gonna we're gonna basically, basically we're gonna make like a little door opening. So we're gonna have to get rid of these. So make ourselves like. Rows of piston. <laughs> and you want to raise those pistons up. So like this right here, and then... <laughs> oh! So... And then place and place some wood behind those. So the glowstone, we'll just use a glow piece of glowstone. We'll just grab ourselves four pieces of glowstone. And you can't place them on like there's no way you can like do on the top. But you have the high activity to do something like that. So, the, what the? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, there we go. So, and the easiest way to do this is that we want to make sure that they're, that they're facing each other. So, just add like a type of like block you want to do. Maybe like an observer. We'll just add the observers to hold those in place. And then you can like, and then extend those. Extend those, I'm sorry. Extends the observers up like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then take the uh um 
<laughs> okay, shit bag. Well, the easy way to knock over for redstone is that, uh, place redstone, you know, place it on the top of your, of your piston, so, like, uh, what's wrong? Like, I don't even understand this, like, like, There we go. I had to place an observer right there so that they were close. So we're gonna do like a little like a little basic like a little experiment with like how these work. So like Oh fuck. So oh, oops. My apology uh, viewers who are reading this is that actually keys for like for super for children, I didn't mean it cuts like that. So play oh There we go, okay, and place your redstone torch on that observer. And then add redstone to make it come to life. So, you should have, like, this right here. So, I want to observe something with this. So, I took a repeater right here. I'm going to blue is I'm going to place it, like, above, right, right there. And then, along with two torches. And they don't do nothing. So, kind of like screaming right that, but. Next thing I want to do is I want to take a piston, place the piston facing up. Like this. Alright, that piston we're going to do is we're going to dig under the ground. Where a piece of redstone is going to come to life. With the observer. And the observer must face like this way. Before you place the sticky piston. <laughs> and then, like that. So, the key point is, the whole trick is, you add redstone below that, and then torch will go, like, above that block you made. So, sorry, this, sorry if you guys don't understand, but, like, I'm trying my best to, like, be precise. <laughs> but you play, it plays up there, that red zone, like, there should activate. And then, the last thing we can do is we're going to add a little reward. We're going to add our TNT. And this is what is used. This could be, like, a little TNT-like thing. When you're, like, blowing up, like, caves, you don't want to. So, you can, like, basically, you can, like, this, for example. So... What we're going to do is we're going to delete those two blocks we see right there. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add, we'll add one redstone torch to the middle. No, actually we'll put one right, right here, for example. To place two there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do is we're going to take our... We'll take... Uh, since there's lava here, we're going to just like, uh... Trap all this up. So, we're going to do is we'll place TNT, like, right here. Oh, and if, like that, for example, like, it, it, it's going to attract you right there. Oh, f it destroyed my project, but, but, if you have enough of high quality, basically, the strongest material you use, I would use to cover this is bedrock. So, yeah, like that, for example, like, it could be like a little TNT holder, but yeah, experiment with the weighted pressure plates. Whew, I am done talking. Okay, <clears throat> well this concludes for today's video, but before we go, there is something I want to show you, and how you can enter to win something from the Wonder Station. Basically, basically I don't do this stuff, or I don't have the time to do this, but if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right now, and, then with, and turn on notifications to get videos and daily requests from my channel every day, and comment down below. And basically, here's the here it says, if if the person commented on my um on one of my videos, and to include this one today, so here, 
I'm gonna switch the camera over to me while I'm done real quick. Okay, so the only way to do this is that if you want to receive a shout out in my video, one of my videos, and get one of my merchandises, all you have to do is like and subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications. All right, with videos daily question every day, and then thirdly, comment down below what is your favorite Minecraft video that you watch. It could be from 2020, like last year or this year. If you comment on one of those videos, then you'll receive a free shout out, and you'll also get one of my merchandises for just free. So do that. Subscribe, and that is how you win for a basic drawing. And for giveaway, let me see. And for giveaway, you'll basically receive like a, a poster, like a poster of me, like one of my merchandise. You'll receive like a poster of me or like a phone case. So you have to do what I said: subscribe, turn on notifications, comment on my videos, and then I'll pick or any. I'll pick a couple of uh, one answer or or basically I'll pick five people and I'll give them their shout out. And then I'll give them their poster. And it must be done on paper, so basically I'll have to do like many drawings of Vault Boy. But yeah. But anyways, this wraps up for this one video. If you want to see more handling down below, go check out my boy's Ice Nice channel on Instagram Headquarters. Check out all my other Minecraft videos. And always thumbs up for safety. Like a bell cut. <laughs>